Today, I'm going to show you how to rank number one with Perplexity AI SEO. Now, this is absolutely insane because Perplexity have grown from zero out of nowhere to nearly three million traffic, as you can see, and that's increasing all the time post core update. This is a massive AI site getting a ton of traffic. And today, what I'm going to show you is the secret Perplexity pages method that's raking in thousands of clicks with SEO, with proof. I'm going to show you the easy keyword automation trick that's 100% free, plus how you can use free tools to do this. And I'm gonna show you my best automations with Perplexity that will save you hundreds, if not thousands of hours when it comes to SEO. Let's get into it. So the first place that we're gonna start is by looking at some of the keywords that Perplexity is ranking for, because this is very interesting indeed, my friends. For example, right, if we take these two pages, let's have a look at Perplexity. You can see that you can publish pages with Perplexity that are generating thousands of clicks, 12,700 views to this one single page. And this is all AI generated content. So it's ranking really well, as you can see right here. And you can create your own pages on Perplexity. And from what I can see, they can actually be indexed. Let me show you an example, right? So if I type in perplexity.ai into Google and we look at search results indexed over the past week, we can see that there's over 500 results of pages created with AI that are now on, that you can also create, and these can rank on the first page for Google. As an example of this, this is a crazy one. The Oasis Ticket Chaos, this was published one day ago. It's already up to 2,800 views in literally 24 hours. The content is all AI generated. And here's the other thing, right? With Perplexity, if you can publish pages, which I'll show you how to do in a second, this is a DR80 website that's got a very positive trajectory in terms of SEO which means that if you publish an index pages on here too, you've got a very high chance of ranking. Now, how do you do this? Well, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Number one, you can go to library, then page, and then inside pages, you can create a page. So if you've got a bunch of ideas right here, let's say you were targeting a keyword like SEO training, Julian Goldie, it will write the content automatically for you. It will come up with a cover image for you as well automatically, right? That's actually pulled in from YouTube. As you can see, this is a link to YouTube. You can actually click on change and then switch between these. You can rewrite the titles if you want. So you can edit the section title names, and then you can basically create a page like you would on your website, but there's a much higher chance of ranking because perplexity is a higher domain rating. It's got more authority and it's on a very positive trajectory. Plus this is being crawled really fast. As you can see, it has 500 pages indexed within the last week. So Google was obviously assigned a very high crawl budget to it to get it ranking. You can also rewrite the intro automatically with AI. You can change the layout, etc. And then what you do, as you can see a lot of people are doing inside Perplexity, is you can find easy keywords to rank for. For example, like this is a KD6 that they're ranking for. It's already getting 500 traffic and it's already ranking third on the first page of Google. I can imagine the only pages outranking that particular keyword are ones created by Claude AI themselves. It's a very, very simple process. The other way that you can do this is Let's say you've got a keyword like SEO training Birmingham that you want to rank for. You can see here with the pro search, Perplexity is doing all the searching. So it's searching for SEO trainings in Birmingham, finding reviews, etc., summarizing the information. And you can see it's coming up with all the details. Now, what you can do is you can click on convert to page in the top right, and then it generates a page for you. And you can see here, not only does it generate the page, but it also recommends me kind of like an advert and links out to my website where you can buy the product inside the content itself, right? And so you can rank with the keyword. So for example, it's got the keyword inside the title. It's basically recommending me and my product inside the content, which is kind of like an ad. And additionally, it links out to my website, as you can see right here. Now, some people will be like, that's great, but can these articles actually be indexed? Can these perplexity pages be indexed? Absolutely, because I've already shown you that, that, that 500 pages have been indexed from perplexity in the last week. Additionally, if we go to the actual page source to make sure that this content can be indexed, if we type in no index inside the search right here, we can see that this page doesn't include any tags saying no index, which would basically tell Google not to index a page. And so this page is indexable. We can run it for our favorite indexes if we're struggling to get it indexed on Google. We can rank for the keyword that we want to target. And additionally, we can publish content on Perplexity, leverage the domain authority of Perplexity, which is like DR80, and start ranking for our target keywords. Now, additionally, you can ask more questions and publish that content. So if we hit on publish like so, you can see it's now live. 
If we click on copy the link, we can preview the live page on Perplexity. And here's the live page, link out to me from Perplexity's page. And that was super easy and fast to do. Now, what I would highly recommend if you're going to use this process is that you don't just create loads of spammy content with AI that doesn't have any differentiating factors. You want to use a quality control checklist like this one that you can see right here. I've actually got a video breakdown inside the checklist of how to use it. But step by step, you can polish up the content before you publish it so that it's the best it can possibly be using this process. Now, that is method number one. There's so much more you can do with perplexity, but I wanted to give you the most value right at the start. And we're going to keep going through now. So one of the other cool things you can do with perplexity is let's say you want to find easy keywords for pages on your website, on perplexity pages, etc. What you can do is you can actually automate this with perplexity, right? So for example, if we say, give me SEO training keyword ideas, and you can replace your training with whatever niche you're in. Then we can say based on wealthy cities around the world, because I'm trying to target wealthier cities who would have the money to spend on a package like this. Give me 20 ideas, just variations of SEO training with the city. And you can, again, customize this to whatever business you're in. But typically, local SEO keywords tend to be easier to rank for. And now, if we look at the answer, you can see that it's given us exactly as we asked, 20 different keyword ideas. And we just automated that for free using Perplexity. Now, the other cool thing about this is if we actually take these keywords, we can check if they are realistically, number one, something that people are actually looking for. And number two, keywords that are actually easy to rank for. So let me take some random examples. And if we type in a keyword, like for example, SEO training in San Francisco, that we automated finding the keyword using perplexity, you can see the inside keyword explorer on Ahrefs, just to validate that the keyword is actually something we can rank for. The keyword difficulty is zero, which means super easy. We can rank for that keyword. The traffic potential is pretty high because we've got 350 people searching for that keyword. And additionally, if we scroll down to the first page, you can see that most of the pages don't have any backlinks pointing to them. Why is that good? It means that there's less competition for that keyword. It's much easier for us to rank with it. And whether we publish that content on a website, whether we publish it on Plexi, whether we publish it on Medium, Reddit, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc., we can rank for this keyword, this keyword realistically. We can generate the content with perplexity and is a very easy process to automate. Plus now I have a plan for my next 20 pages that I'm going to create. Perfect. Additionally, here's another prompt that we can use. So if we go into perplexity, we'll ask a follow up and I'm going to say, use the alphabet soup method to find more keywords for my niche. Now, because this is inside a thread, perplexity already has the context and what I'm looking for. And now it can just automate finding more keywords for my niche using the alphabet soup method. So for example, affordable SEO link building, best SEO link building strategies, custom SEO link building services, etc. Right, we've got a bunch of easy keywords that we can rank for using this process. And in literally a couple of minutes, you can easily automate keywords for any single niche. And then just verify that people are actually searching for them with your favorite keyword tool. If you don't have any keyword tools, you can use something like Google Autocomplete, and that's completely free for anyone to use. Additionally, what we can also do is we can put in the niche. So let's say I'm an affiliate and I'm trying to make money with affiliate tools like promoting indexing tools, for example, I can put niche equals indexing tools, find keywords for my niche that would help me promote affiliate keywords related to the niche. Use the alphabet soup method to find keywords. Don't include the affiliate. And then we've got this prompt right here. Now, all the notes that I'm talking about today, you will get access to at the end of this video. So make sure you keep watching. But as you can see, perplexity is basically using this process to easily find keywords that we can rank for. So for example, if I'm an affiliate and I'm trying to find free affiliate marketing keywords that I could create content around and I can use perplexity to generate that content, I'll come on to that in a minute. We can see here that we've got affordable indexing tools for SEO, automated indexing software reviews, et cetera, best indexing tools for bloggers, right? These are all keywords that we could potentially rank for. We could monetize affiliate or our own software and make money that way, right? And that would work for any niche, any industry, et cetera. Most people struggle with keyword research. You've just found out how to do it for free in literally one click, automating it with perplexity. Now, if we go back to a new thread, we'll type in here, create a bar chart around penguins and preview it. And you're going, why would I want to preview a bar chart about penguins, mate? That seems a bit random, Julian Goldie. Well, if you're not a penguins enthusiast, let me show you why this is important. So you can actually generate images using this process, and then you can either embed that to your website. Additionally, so you can easily generate images and bar charts with data. Now, the cool thing about this is it's connected to the internet. Why is that important? Because it's finding stats in real time that are actually validated and not hallucinated. If you ask ChatGPT to do the same, there's a percentage chance that's completely hallucinated, whereas with perplexity, actually data 
based on real sources. Like you can see right here, for example, it's Search Britannica for penguin statistics. And then it's using that content inside the chart that it creates. Why is that important? Because you're fact checking your content and you're not creating content around hallucinated AI spam. Additionally, on the right here, you can search for videos and you can generate images, for example, illustrations, diagrams, paintings, and photographs around the same topic. So let's say we want to add a diagram to our content. We can generate a diagram using perplexity in real time in one single click. And again, we can use this content inside our SEO content to get better results. Now, one thing to be careful of with the diagrams is uh, that the text is not always great. So just be careful of that. But you can see with bar charts like this, these are much better. And we really didn't have to think much about the content itself. Why do we want to create images inside our content? Because it makes it more engaging and better to read. Additionally, our images can actually rank as well. So if we create some statistic bar charts like this, they can actually rank on Google images for stuff like penguin statistics or penguin facts, etc. So what I'm going to do is based on the example that we gave before, we can actually create collection pages, right? Which are kind of like custom GPTs or one click tools that are already pre-prompted so that we don't need to paste in anything and it's already trained every time we use it. So if we go to collection over here, click plus, you can put in the title, the emoji, the description, the AI prompt, and we can take that prompt from before. For example, use the alphabet soup method to find keywords for my niche. Ask me what my niche is, or you could just pre-train this with your niche. We can put in keyword planner, then we can put in the emoji, then we can hit create. And now we've just created a tool that's pre-prompted with our keyword research. And now you save money on keyword tools because you've got one that you've created yourself and it's custom trained to your niche and your data. So for example, if I say, find me some keywords, niche equals SEO training, you can see it's searching for keywords, it's finding the long tail keywords, it's gathering that data. And now we have a bunch of ideas. Now, additionally, if we go back to the collection, you might want to edit it. You might not like that prompt and you want to test a different prompt. So if we go back to my video notes, which you'll get access to at the end of the video, we can replace the old content inside the AI prompt with the new content that we want to use. We say, give me SEO training ideas on my niche to the way that I like to do keyword research. If we hit update like so, we can say, find the keywords. And it's done exactly as we asked in a very easy one-click method. Now, the other cool thing about this is if we click on share over here, then we'll click on shareable. We'll copy the link. I'm going to put that inside the video. So if you want to take a look at it, but essentially when you're using this process, you can automate any process inside SEO, any single prompt that you use for SEO or business in general, you can save the collection and you can share it with your team. And it's so easy to use. So just to recap, we've covered the pages method and how that's ranking really well. I've included some examples inside the video notes and the checklist. If you want to create content that isn't spammy trash. Additionally, I've shown you how to automate your keyword research using perplexity. You can actually do that for free with the prompts that I've given you. And I've shown you how to do infographics plus how to create collection pages. Now you could even do this for like topical maps and other stuff like that. So you can see, for example, I have a topical maps tool that you can easily use to automate topical maps, right? Now there's actually so much more you can do with this. So for example, if we go onto perplexity and we're on the pro mode, if you go to settings over here, we can grab an API key inside the API section here, and you can actually connect this to Google Sheet. I have a custom template for you. So if we click on make a copy over here of the template, you can plug in your API key. You can use ChatGPT if you want as well, but I'm just going to use perplexity inside the API key section over here. And then you can see inside this formula here, we can put something like equals PPLX A1. And what it will do is it will take the prompt and the live URL from the sheet and then provide an automated response using the API from perplexity. Why is this useful? Because you can basically put any single prompt into a spreadsheet that you share with your team or that you refer back to and everything's in one tidy place inside your Google docs. Now, now that was a very basic prompt just to show you that perplexity API can actually connect to live URLs and how easy this is to do. But what we can also do is we can go back to the spreadsheet with your API plugged in. We can put in a prompt in column a. It will take a few seconds to load, as you can see right here in terms of the response. But now you can see that we have a response from Perplexity inside Google Sheets without having to mess around and log into Perplexity directly. Super useful. Now you could do this for keyword research. You could also do it for content creation. So for example, let's say we've got keyword ideas on the list and we're like, right, I want to use SEO training in New York. I'm going to put keyword equals 
SEO training in New York. Then I'm going to take one of my favorite content creation prompts like so. I'll put this in the video notes if you want access to it. And we're going to drag this formula down. And now you can see that it actually writes the content for us based on the prompt in column A. So any single prompt that you have that you automate often, you can just put inside the spreadsheet, you connect your API, you use equals PPLX, and then you call the prompt like so, and it will generate the response for you. Now you can see this is in Markdown Preview. So if we go down to Markdown like preview.com, we can plug in the content and you can see it's nicely formatted like so. We've generated in one single click an article that is 478 words. You can have more titles and headings to that if you want to. Additionally, it's super cheap. Like I've been using this all month and I've only spent 58 cents so far. Pretty crazy. And also you might be thinking, okay, how do I make sure the quality of the content is really good? You can use this checklist that I've already given access to inside the video notes. The final thing that I want to show you is what you can do inside Perplexity that you can't do inside paid tools that are related to it. As an example of this, if you go inside Perplexity settings, as you can see, you can actually switch between multiple different models. So you can use Sonar, Claude 3 Opus, Claude GPT Sonar Large, Claude 3.5 Sonic, etc. You can also switch between image generation models. So you can actually use Flux, and Flux is really good for creating very realistic images, far better than Dali. As an example of this, you can see this photo, this one, and this one were all generated using Flux. So easy to use, and the actual images look very, very realistic to the untrained eye. Now, normally, if you want to use Flux, you have to go onto GitHub, you have to download it, you have to mess around, etc. But inside Plexi, you can use it with an actual nice interface, and you don't need to be a developer to understand how to use it which is great, solves a massive problem. So if we go into perplexity like so, we're now gonna click on generate image and then generate photograph. And you can see that it actually generates using flux images inside a bar chart. And then I've put it in the prompt. I can see then we've generated the image with flux. You can see this is an AI generated image. It's a very flashy looking penguin that's actually quite realistic in terms of photography. Now, now I think that requires a bit more prompting, a bit more editing, etc., and back and forth. But you can see how easy it is to generate realistic looking images that are very creative with AI using Flux without having to be a developer. So thanks very much for watching. As promised, I've shown you the secret perplexity pages method that's raking in thousands of clicks with SEO with actual proof. I've shown you the local SEO keyword trick that's 100% free and how to automate it. And I've shown you my best automations with perplexity that save hundreds, if not thousands of hours with tools and also the Google Sheets method. Now, if you want access to all the prompts, tips, templates, workflows, etc., from today, what I'll do is I'll take this SP from today. We'll scroll down to the SEO system section. We're going to add a new section called Perplexity AI SEO 6th September. So the link to my free course is inside the comments and description. Then once you've logged in, go to the free course, SEO systems, Perplexity AI SEO 6th September, and the video notes are right there. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a free SEO strategy session, that's a one-to-one -one session where we can show you exactly how to get more leads, traffic, and sales and make more money with it. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales. Now inside this free link building acceleration session, we will give you a free SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building and how to rank with it. We'll answer any questions that you have one-to-one -one about your site, custom tailored to your site and your specific situation. Additionally, you can learn the best link building strategies for your website, how to outrank your competitors with link building and how to increase your SEO traffic. Feel free to book that in. Links in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.